Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Dissection of Human Body. In one of the videos, we discussed about the subdivisions of media stenum. In the present video, we will discuss about the boundaries and contents of superior media stenum. Over to the cadaver. I want you to orient yourself to the cadaver. This is the anterior chest wall which has been cut in the middle of the manubrium sternum and it is reflected downwards. Let's see the boundaries of the superior media sternum. The boundaries of superior media sternum anteriorly will be the manubrium sternum and posteriorly will be the anterior surface of the upper four thoracic vertebrae and the intervertebral inter disc between them and on either side it will be the mediastinal pleura and superiorly it's an oblique plane at the level of the superior thoracic aperture and inferiorly a horizontal plane passing through the sternal angle which cuts the vertebral column at the lower border of the fourth thoracic vertebra now what are the contents of the superior mediastinum we'll see the contents one by one from superficial to deep. Now, the most superficial content will be the origin of these strap muscles, namely the sternohyoid and sternothyroids on either side, sternohyoid and sternothyroid. And these muscles are taking origin from the posterior surface of the manubrium sternum. Now let's reflect these strap muscles upwards and then what you see deeper to that will be the remains of the thymus which has been already removed. The thymus is not functional in the adult and it is replaced by fibro fatty tissue and this fibro fatty tissue has been cleaned to show the other contents. So that's the second layer. Third, you have the venous veins. The veins which you see in the superior media stenum are the left brachiocephalic vein, the right brachiocephalic vein, and these two veins, this is the left brachiocephalic vein, this is the right brachiocephalic vein, they join to form the superior vena cava behind the right first costal cartilage. And the superior media strain, the superior vena cava descends down, pierces the pericardium at the level of the right second costal cartilage, and then it enters the right atrium. So superior, because of the attachment of the pericardium, the superior vena cava is divided into an upper extrapericardial part and a lower intrapericardial part of the superior vena cava. And so the upper part, the extra pericardial part is in the superior media stenum. Apart from these big vessels, you have another vein which drains into the left brachiocephalic vein. And unfortunately that vein is cut, but you can see the cut uh, margin over here, the point of uh, drainage. That is the left superior intercostal vein which crosses the arch of the aorta obliquely. It drains the second, third and fourth posterior intercostal veins and drain into the left brachiocephalic vein. Now let's push these veins upwards to show the next layer. Now the next contents will be the arch of aorta. Here is the arch of the aorta and the branches of the arch of the aorta, the beginning of the branches. So here is the brachiocephalic trunk or the nominate trunk and this is the left common carotid artery and here is the left subclavian artery. So the arch of the aorta and its branches are found in not the entire length of the branches, only the roots of the origin of the branches will be in the superior media stenum. And the Apart from these blood vessels, arteries, you will have the nerves also. The nerves will be the phrenic nerve. This one is a left phrenic nerve 
and here is a left vagus nerve and these nerves can be seen between the left common carotid artery and left subclavian artery and the phrenic nerve is anterior to the vagus. Between the vagus and phrenic nerve you can see the cardiac nerves going to the superficial cardiac plexus crossing the arch of the iota. Not only the left phrenic nerve, you can see the right phrenic nerve also and here is the right phrenic nerve. The right phrenic nerve is over here and it will also and you will have to look for this nerve just to the right of the superior vena cava and it lies to the right of the superior vena cava, right of the right atrium and also right of the inferior vena cava. So this the right phrenic nerve follows the venous pathway of the heart and it is found between the, as I told you earlier, it is found between the mediastinal pleura, pleura and the pericardium, both phrenic nerves and they pass in front of the root of the lungs, right? And the, whereas the vagus nerve passes behind the root of the lung, here is the left vagus nerve. The right vagus can be identified just to the right of the um, trachea. So that now can be seen here. This is the right vagus. So the uh, arch of the aorta and its branches, the phrenic nerve, vagus nerve, both right and left vagus nerves and also you can see the cardiac nerves which are going to the superficial cardiac plexus. Now, if you uh, deeper to these blood vessels, you can see the other contents. Anteriorly, you have the trachea. This is the trachea and behind the trachea is the esophagus. Can you see this muscular tube? And between the esophagus and trachea, you can see a nerve that is the uh, left recurrent laryngeal nerve. The left recurrent laryngeal nerve is given off from the vagus nerve. This is the left recurrent laryngeal nerve. You can see and I just pull it. Yeah. Can you see? This is the left, left recurrent laryngeal nerve which hooks around the arch of the aorta behind the ligamentum arteriosus. Whereas the right recurrent laryngeal nerve is not in the superior mediastinum because it winds around the first part of the right subclavian artery at the root of the neck. Now apart from these structures, you may find another structure, another lymphatic channel which is the thoracic duct. That here is the thoracic duct, you can see this is the thoracic duct which is on the left side of the left margin of the esophagus and its way to its termination at the junction of the brachiocephalic vein and the uh, internal jugular vein on the left side. And posterior most in front of the vertebral column you have the longest cole muscles and of course on either side of the vertebral column you have the right and left sympathetic chain which may also be included in the superior mediastinum. Of course it is a long chain, it is not only in the superior mediastinum, it is found in the posterior mediastinum also. So with this we come to the end of the section on the superior mediastinum. Thank you very much for listening.